one and not you, you are one and not you, you are one and not you. You see, this is our smooth lesson today, right? <laughs> without moving my arms. What shall we do? Good. It can go this way. It can go this way. So we are basically getting taller on our own foot. So inside of your thigh will engage. And suddenly instead of melting into it, we're going to pick up the inside of our thigh. And what it will do to us here. And then what will happen? Now we create the tension inside our body versus in our arms. Arms. Now, arms don't move. We can obviously move the weight. Let's experience this. We obviously can move the weight from the ball of the foot to the heel. You, if you close your feet together, but in this manner. Now, what happened? We become dependent, codependent on each other in a bad way. If you can prevent this from happening as long as possible, that would be the key to your personal balance and so the balance of the couple, which, which will take us tomorrow to, to the new thing, partnering and moving together, right? So let's uh, experience this together. So let's just for the moment close feet together and we're gonna roll our belt, this area, the thigh, the, if you have extremely long legs, probably your gravity center is a little bit lower or a little bit higher. So this is, you will need to find an experience in, in your own body. But the point would be to manipulate the weight to the ball of the foot without leaning on each other or having very light connection. Now moving back inside your own foot uh, also will happen through your base and through the forward, through the hip back. I would like to see that your weight is actually moving. So let's get on the heels and free your toes. See, can you have your toes uh, off the floor? Very good, but still maintaining balance. Now, we're gonna uh, roll to the ball of the foot now. Your heels are free of weight. Correct. Let's think with you about the jive, right? All of you can fly, right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So if you think about the jive, when you do the kick, that's a free leg dance, right? So in order for you first to collect the leg underneath the body, what do you have to do? You're actually using the standing leg and you're using your center so for your leg to come underneath the body. Only once it's underneath the body, now it can be released. And then I bring it back underneath my body using the same standing leg, right? So standing leg releases it and standing leg picks it up and standing leg responsible for placement. I want and not you, 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 I want and not you. See, this is our smooth lesson today, right? <laughs> anyway, so but principles are principles. For me, it's irrelevant what style it is. Of course, one of the most important things is to preserve the style of the dance, but the principles are universal. We have the same body, either we dance uh, smooth or ballroom or light, more or less, maybe a little bit more muscle, a little bit less muscle in another part, but we uh, more or less we have the same bone structure so the, uh, the weight is going to be used in the same way okay What's going on everybody? My name is Ruman and I run Dance Today Instagram and YouTube channel. I just want to thank you for watching my videos and ask you for a bit of a favor. If you look below this video, you'll notice the Dance Today online store. By purchasing something from the online shop, proceeds go to help me creating much more free content from all over the world for you to enjoy here on this channel. If you want to support Dance Today, 
pick up a mug, pick up a t-shirt, pick up a sweater. It's all awesome stuff and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.